So the fourth one is the CCP has developed an oil naval mine. Unlike the usual naval mine made of magnetic and electronic hardware, the new the, the oil naval mine or liquid uh, naval mine is a new type of marine tank filled with liquid oil, which can float below the surface water and is extremely stealthy, difficult to detect by radar. Also, they are extremely sensitive and in contact what trigger a series of massive explosions. The CCP's newly developed oil naval mine is, designate, is designed to blockade Japanese and Taiwan military ports and U.S. military base. During a war, the CCP will use thousands of unmanned submarines and underwater drones to launch coordinated attacks. This is again speaks to the capability and their plan. The five, the fifth one, the CCP three command center bases for the war against Taiwan. The CCP has used three bases at Huawei, Huawei's Beijing Research Institute, Xishan, uh, Xiangshan, and Fenghuangling as command centers for the Taiwan Strait Wall and has been fully put, put into use. The CCP has conducted numerous simulated war tests, mainly three-dimensional sea, air, and ground attacks and electronic jamming. So this is the fifth piece. And the last two piece, the CCP anti-missile and satellite nuclear strike system. The CCP has mastered the pre-launch deten detection or pre-launch strike missile defense system, the same technology as used in the U.S. self-defense strikes targeting Houthi cruise missiles in Yemen with the coordination of generative AI and satellites. The CCP's missile defense system is equipped with advanced chips to accurately detect targets, including missiles from the United States, Japan, and Taiwan. A devastating strike can be completed before the target missile is even launched. China is still continuing to research this technology and still researching countermeasures to this technology. The, one of the Chinese military base called Sha La base in Dunhuang, Gansu province, which is um, uh, close to the Gurbi Desert, has conducted many tests on satellite electronic countermeasures and a coordinated interactions with the CCP hidden military bases around the world. And together with the Rocket Force Command Center in Kashi, it has formed a secret command center for space satellite nuclear strikes. These are largely speaking, all the information I shared point directly to the CCP's plan and the capability, okay, that they may start a war on Taiwan and they may, you know, coming firing directly face to face confrontation with the allied forces such as Japan, South Korea, India or United States or uh, European nations. And seven, the last piece of intel is Vietnam. Vietnam, the most friendly countries to the CCP, because Vietnam is a communist nation and has held many meetings to discuss what Vietnam should do when the CCP collapse. So they're doing contingency and they are seeing a lot of signs pointing out on the, the, the ending of this totalitarian re regime. So they already started talking and many meetings has been held in terms of what they should do after post CCP era.